Thank you for clicking on this video. This message is from Virgo. <laughs> so because it is close to Virgo season, I just showed out. I pulled three Oracle cards for you. And although I only have 10 minutes, we're going to interpret these messages. And I manif I'm manifesting that they will be clearly and um, you'll be able to understand them. So there is a message here, Virgo. Um, you feel like you're not compatible. You don't really believe there's a match for you, but you need to have an open mind. Um, this could be because of past trauma and past relationships that you haven't healed from. And there also could be um, you tend to neglect your own needs in relationships. So what surrounds this energy for you, Virgo? Ooh, the death card, a new beginning. So Virgo, I do get the feeling you want a new beginning, a rebirth in this energy. So the death card basically states that there was something or there is something that you want to try out you want to start all over um i feel like with this death card being your first card out it represents you and you wanting to paint a different picture in your life if that makes sense virgo um you're trying to transform you're trying to change and maybe you have some newfound beliefs which includes that you know no one is compatible with you you know you were destined to be alone that's kind of how you feel that's kind of how it seems like you feel virgo in this energy but I feel like you have a newfound awareness and just newfound beliefs. And you're kind of sticking to that right now. Clarify the death card, please. Please clarify the death card. The death card was clarified by the moon. Again, there's some changes here that you are making. Changes you're making to relationships or or not just relationships, but people in your life. You are trying to change the way you think. You are trying to um be cautious. Be more cautious of who you spend your time and your energy with. Yes. So the death card and the moon card, that's big. Give me one more. Just give me one more in the in regards to the energy. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It just flew out, Virgo. So this Knight of Pentacles in reverse suggests that you're focused solely on wealth now. You're being selfish. <laughs> um, you could be even lazy in this situation. Like you don't even want to work hard for a relationship. You're just kind of doing your own thing. You're selfish. You're being focused on yourself. Um, what is the influence? Temperance. Balance. You're trying to balance out situations in your life, or maybe you feel more balanced by yourself. You are the divine feminine and masculine energy that you need. You don't need anything else, anybody else throwing you off your game. The three of wands energy, which does suggest... Um, Maybe in the past you've had a painful ending, a painful separation, and you gave yourself time to heal and find inspiration again. And when what you have come up with is it's just better to be alone. Give me um, some more energy on this Three of Wands. Okay, it didn't come out, so I'm going to keep going. Knight of Wands. This could have been with somebody that has Leo... Sagittarius or Aries in their chart so this three of wands that you this three of wands was focused on this knight of wands or maybe this person presented themselves as a boss a leader um, highly charismatic passionate determined confident and um, full of opportunities and what happened what happened with this knight of wands why is this knight of wands here Ace of Swords. So this Knight of Wands, I don't know if this Knight of Wands was being actually truthful with you. Um, or if you were overly critical of them. Tell me um, again, because there was truth and clarity. It seems like or you wanted truth and clarity with this person. And I don't know if you got it. So let's see. So this King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody was focused more on money. Um, they were being materialistic, they were being dramatic, maybe seeking status, and getting with you was a way for them to have status, or being with you was a way for them to have status. They were not being honest with their intentions. Um, this Page of Cups could represent either them coming in as a person that was so naive and um, in love and wanted to be in love. They were a dreamer. They were opening up their heart to you, but they were not necessarily being truthful to you. Okay, let me get into what is it you don't see, Virgo. 
Ten of Wands. So you're not seeing that you need to walk away from an old reality, an old burden. Um, a lot of times you take on too much responsibility and you should be trying to free yourself. Um, you're clinging to the past and responsibilities that probably responsibilities that you have taken on, but they probably belong to somebody else, if that makes sense. But all these responsibilities that you're taking on for yourself, Virgo, you do have a tendency not to ask for help when you need help. Um, there's a need for you to prioritize and a need for you to let go of someone's expectation of you, a need to stand up for yourself in this energy. So maybe that's where the, the um, Oracle card of you're neglecting yourself for someone else for someone else's responsibility there's another Virgo here that feels like they're just not compatible they can't they can't really be with anybody they were destined to be alone and another Virgo here that suggests that past trauma um, that has past trauma and that's what has caused them to um, really be stuck in the past and not move forward with relationships because they haven't healed from other relationships that they've been in and how they've been treated and they've taken on that responsibility and burden of thinking that everyone will treat them like that. The advice here is King of Cups. So the King of Cups, just making sure we have enough time. You know, I want to clarify this Ten of Wands. What is this Ten of Wands clar clarified by? Because you do need to walk away from an old reality and that's what you don't see. Um, the world card, the nine of pentacles. So what you don't see is with the right person, with an open mind, and when you heal your trauma, this nine of pentacles suggests that, you know, there will be inner peace and satisfaction, personal achievement. When you heal this past trauma and you stop neglecting yourself, when you stop thinking that you were meant to be alone, um, the world card suggests that you will have a turn of events some changes, things that you want will manifest, but you're not seeing that because you feel like you're better off alone or this past trauma is causing you to be um, jaded by the fact that there is someone out here for you if you want it to be. The King of Cups energy as the advice card suggests that, you know, it's time for you to get back on the horse, wear your heart on your sleeve a little bit, you know, seek a connection, um, you know, bring new ideas to the forefront in regards to love. Be chivalrous. Allow somebody to be chivalrous to you. Um, be that classic romantic that something probably that you either have been in the past or you know something that you've never been the tower has clarified the king of cups so the tower is um allow things that are not meant to be if things are coming crashing down let them don't feel the need to always save someone or save somebody in relationships or in regards to any type of relationship sometimes things need to fall apart so by you taking on this burden of thinking that you can fix every single thing this really is what leaves you in your past trauma and causes you to neglect yourself and causes you to think that you're better off alone because you carry a lot of burden from the people around you so with this tower card again you know the universe, when the universe wants something to collapse, it's an opportunity to free yourself. It's not an op It shouldn't be an opportunity for you to take on more responsibilities, Virgo. So um, let's get an oracle card because I'm running out of time and I, I'm rambling. Unconditional love. So ride the wave with somebody. Ride the wave of unconditional love. So this is unconditional love towards yourself. The momentum of the wave is naturally slowed, the tower. Allow the next conscious moment to surface and ride the wave once again. In this moment, you will be granted the opportunity to reinforce the connection and augment the immense frequency. It is in this conscious moment that the immense frequency of self-love is at its strongest. So to take here is when you learn to love yourself more and know that you deserve better then the frequency of someone loving you and knowing that you deserve better will come into your life Virgo okay that's what I have for you